Bonner, welcome back. Okay, I'm super excited to be here. I think I tell you that every week, but I really am. I really do love sharing my machine quilting, and I hope that each of you finds just a little bit of inspiration from this fun quilting. All right, so today I'm going to be quilting this really fun background filler. I like to call it a rainbow. You can call it whatever you want. That's just what I'm calling it. But this fun design is great for a background filler. Here I've quilted it pretty densely, but you could always, any design that I share with you, you can enlarge it, you can shrink it down, you could use it as an all over design if you did it a little bit larger, or like here, it's awesome for all of my borders and all of my sashing. As I'm quilting out this design today, you will see that I do have green thread on my machine, which is awesome because it makes it really easy for you to see this design. However, if this were an actual client quilt, I probably would have used a matching thread so that my thread doesn't become as strong and powerful as it is here. But hey, there's no rules. I don't believe in rules. So if you wanna use a high contrast thread on your quilts, go for it. This fun quilt that I'm quilting here is actually the class sample for my brand new class. This is the sixth class in my year long series let's stitch a year of blocks. So this is the eight pointed star sample that you'll see in the background as I'm quilting here. Now you can join and join all 12 classes or you can join one class a month, even just one of the classes. There are no rules. It's individual, work at your own pace and share your progress when you're ready. We do release all 12 lessons for each class on the first day of the month. So coming on June 1st, 2022 will release this whole entire class. But for now, let's hop over to my machine. I'm going to be doing all of my quilting on my Gamel 22 inch machine. This is hand guided quilting. I will be stitching in the stitch regulated mode and I do have my stitch length set at 13 stitches per inch. The batting that I'm using here that creates the really awesome texture that I love is one layer of the Quilter's Dream Poly Deluxe batting. All right, friends, enough chitter chatter. Let's hop over to the machine and let's get stitching. This is such a fun design and I love that there's really no rules really with any machine quilting. I'm quilting this design as a background and throughout my sashing on this whole quilt. So it could be quilted really in any space. You could enlarge it and you could shrink it. When I stitch out this design, I start out by stitching a little arch. <laughs> Let's call it an arch, a little curve. It's not necessarily a circle or a pebble. It's kind of a little bit more oblong. After I've stitched one of those, then I'm going to stitch an echo line. So it will be a quarter of an inch echo, which will either be along my previous stitch line or maybe even the side of my quilt, the side of a block. If it's around applique, it might be along the side of the applique to start out with. Then from there, I'm going to stitch a few of those echo lines working back and forth. I don't necessarily think that there's a right or wrong number, but most of the time I have at least one echo, there might end up being two or three, four, even five. So after I've stitched out the first one of those, then I just keep repeating those echoes. I keep repeating the shape. So after I've stitched a few of the echoes, then I start again at any point and I'll stitch one of those fun little melons, <laughs> rainbows, whatever you want to call it, and then start adding echoes to the background. Then from there, I'll just keep repeating that process. Now, as far as the spacing goes, I like to use the side of my foot as a guide. So for this density and a scale, like I've got going on here, I stitch to about the side of my foot. By doing that, because I do have my ruler foot on my machine, then I know that my lines are most often going to stay about a quarter of an inch apart. Now, one little fun tip or trick when I am quilting a design like this, I do try to alternate directions. It feels like it's really easy to start going in one direction and everything will look like it's going the same direction. And then you'll take your quilt off the machine and it'll look like everything's tipping. So I do always try to kind of think ahead and make them go in different directions. I try to make some look like they're going up and some down and some towards the right and some towards the left as I'm stitching out these fun little rainbows. 
I love this design. I'll give you a few minutes to watch and enjoy and sink it, let it all sink in. If you do want to learn even more, make sure you do check out my online classes, the Peace and Quilt Academy, and we even now have Peace and Quilt Unlimited. This that I'm quilting here is a sample from my newest class, Let's Stitch the Eight Pointed Star. You can find all the details over on our website, peaceandquilt.com. Have a great day, everybody.